All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to build uh, NAND gate, NOR gate, uh, and symbols and simulation in LT Spice. Let's start LT Spice first. And so make sure we have. So I have all these videos here, and I'm going to reuse the model file, which is here just copy and paste here so make sure you have the model file we want to simulate something <clears throat> and uh we need to we need to start a new schematic and i'm going to save it as something on the desktop for example i say nand on the desktop so all right so nand and then i will start drawing so F2, you can open the library, and definitely you need, uh, for the NAND gate, you need uh, two NMOS in series at the bottom, and uh, two PMOS in parallel. Wait. PMOS, Control R, Control R, and mirror. So you need uh, two of them on the top. Since we are building a symbol, which means uh, we are going to wrap up everything in here and uh, have a power and ground and input and output available as pins on the symbol. So we don't want to do anything here. This is just an in internal circuit. So let's just wear everything up and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. And you have here as one pin which will be connected to the vdd in the symbol so but we don't do it here so instead we just name it as v high okay so there's no signal here or no power at all it's just uh, just a chip with the pins available so you can connect them to whatever power ground input output whatever you want afterwards. Okay. So the uh, this one should be below <clears throat> and connect that one to here, here. <clears throat> and then the inputs A and B. All right. So make a pin A or VA, <clears throat> put it here and put it here, another one, but right click and change the name to VB and then connect all these body connect to the lowest potential here, right? The lowest potential, which is below. Here to V high. All right, and the last one, not the least, which is V out. We need a V out here. <clears throat> so after this, I think, yeah, also you'll need to change the name to make sure the model can recognize what are they. P1U, N1U, not here, not this one. Um, here, N1U. So make sure you are not changing this M1. So M1 is the name of this guy, but N1U is the model, the model's name, right? And also you want to change the, you want to define the dimension here. So for example, we give two micron for the width and one micron to the lens. And we just want to show it up to so control right click and then check this box and click OK. Same thing, right click and then two micron and one micron. OK, right click, control right click and check the box. Right click 
one U, two U, and right click, control right click. <clears throat> Same thing, one U, two U, and right click. All right. So all the internal circuits are done, and all these pins are being labeled already. So what's the next step will be, you want to save it as, so it's right here uh, on the desktop. So a symbol can be created from directly from here. Go to File, New Symbol. Just directly from here, from this, uh, from this simulation file, right? From this schematic. New Symbol, and you can see that in the very beginning, the name of this symbol file, it's just untitled. You actually want to save it to the same directory as your internal circuit, which is the desktop, and name it as the same name. Okay, and then pr press enter. And um, so now here is a symbol, right? <laughs> so there's one problem here, uh, which is you couldn't see the grid for this uh, view. But we, you know, just got rid of the grid over here in the schematic. But we find a problem here because we really want to draw everything snap to the gray. Uh, so let's go back to control panel and go to draft options and go to color scheme and find out uh, grade and make the grade to be black dots. Right. And OK. So it was, now you'll see all these uh, gray dots here so you can draw your uh, layout or you know, the symbol, the shape. So the shape is just a shape. There's no electrical signals on, on that. You need to add a pins to the shape to make uh, electrical connections. So let's draw it first. You can go to draw and draw a line, draw an arc, draw a circle or something, but I usually just press the shortcut on the keyboard. So if you press L, so you can start draw the line. So make sure it's, it snaps to the, to the point here and uh, make it symmetric as much as possible, and then draw he to here, probably here. Let's make it a bit longer. And then press Escape to quit that mode, and press L again to draw another line here to this point, and press Escape. So that's the left part of the NAND gate, and we need an arc. Uh, so A, and then we start from here and we stop at here and uh, it should allow me to do an arc let me click this again so here we go um yeah yeah it's not really yeah probably shouldn't do do it in that way um, let's escape it <clears throat> and uh, go to A. If we start, um, yeah, let's try here and see if that's going to work. Boom. And um, here. Like this, that's probably not the best way to do it, but it should work. So let's move it and Control R, Control R, and move it to here. <clears throat> and then you need a circle. Uh, so let's draw a circle snap to the to the grid in this dimension and move it to the middle. So make sure you have a little snap uh, snap grid uh, point of the grid here in the middle so you can uh, wear something starting from here. <clears throat> and then we need a line, two lines. We start from this grid point. We put a line here as one of the inputs and another inputs from here, right? And one output 
from here and power here <clears throat> ground here so so far it is still just a shape with lines so there's no any electrical properties or uh, network over there so what you need to do is add pins so you can go to here um, so the way to add pins I usually just press P but I'm pretty sure you can find out um, here add pins right you see the shortcut is P so P so label make sure the label is exactly the same as the name of the network here v high v a v b v low v out and it's case sensitive so make sure they are the same names right so i press p on the keyboard i make a v high first and put it here and then p v low put it here p v a put it here p p v b put it here P V out put it here <clears throat> and uh, sometimes I also want to show the name of of that uh, pain so you want to probably for example you want to show it here or oh, it's way too big I think yeah so let's don't show it over here for now let's just don't show it all right and save so now you have your internal circuit, you have your symbol, and you want to start another new schematic from here and save it as, just save it to the same directory. So it's easily for the library to find it out. This is pretty important. If you, sometimes you, you made a symbol, you made a part, but you couldn't find it out in the library, which is because your, <coughs> sim <coughs> sorry, your simulation file is not in the same directory. So let's, uh, Name, name the simulation file. This one, this time, it doesn't have to be the same as the name of the part. Uh, it can be NAND, I usually call it SIM, right? NAND SIM. <clears throat> and now press F2, you should be able to see that part you just built. See, you already have this menu or directory in this drop down menu. Click that, and you can find out your part here. Just put it here, and then grab a voltage from the regular library. Scroll to the right and voltage. One, two, because I have two inputs. So give two uh, two power, uh, two uh, inputs and one power, right? So let's um, power, put a power here, for example. Should be fine. Yeah, let's put a power here. And so you can physically connect this one to here. But you can imagine that if you have, for example, hundreds of gates, you don't want to wire everything up at the same like this in the same way, right? You can actually cre uh, create a network node just using this label, and you can name it as VDD, and you can put it here, and you name this pin as the same name, so they are actually electrically connected automatically already, right? And also the ground, all the grounds are being shorted together, so you can use a universal ground for everything, for everyone. And um, yeah, same thing. You, you know, why not? Let's just put a VA here and VB here. Rename it as VB. <clears throat> and if we give, um, uh, let's give a pulse. Let's give a pulse. Go to advanced. So what you did here is you right click the symbol and go to advanced and pick up a pulse. Uh, initial value, for example, is zero volts and V on. So the pulse is like from zero to five volts, jump. And delay is a delay in the very beginning. It doesn't matter, you can put a zero here. And T rise, you wanna make a rise pretty tiny. For example, one nanoseconds. One nanoseconds for the T4 uh, as well. So T on, which is uh, on time for the pulse. Let's give um, 10, mic 10 micron, okay? And the periods, you wanna make the periods a little bit uh, larger than twice as uh, T on. So the reason is I can 
show you really quickly. So for example, here's a pulse, right? And we are we already defined this part is 10 micro, right? It's at 10 microseconds. And the periods should be a little bit uh, larger than twice as much as this because you have a little bit uh, time being spent on the edge edges, right? So that's why this part should be, you can make 21 micro, micro microsecond which will works really well. We're gonna come, you can use 22, 23, doesn't matter, but at least it's gonna be, it should be larger than as twice as much as uh, T on, right? So let's use 21 micro, microsecond. And click OK. So that's, that's VA. So we can copy, so we can, we can right click this, Simulation code, right click it and control C to copy that and go to here. Um, go to this, you know, you just do not, um, yeah, let's go through this. Let's just forget about the copy. We, we are not using that. So let's just uh, use a pretty similar pulse, but we make a little shift, you know, so we can see the different logic all the time. So V initial is still zero, V on is five. So the difference is here. So we want a little bit delay. Uh, the delay can be probably five microseconds because uh, you have a T on to be 10 microseconds and you delay for five microseconds, which is gonna be like that. So you have all your one zeros differences. So you can try all, uh, you know, explore all these combinations for the inputs, right? And T rise to be the same thing. T4 to be the same thing, T on, same thing, T uh, period, same stuff. So the only difference is the delay. Just make a little delay there to, to have a different logic inputs, okay. So that belongs to that, that belongs to this. And you want this guy somewhere else, for example, here. And you want to copy, click a copy, copy VA to here. So deliver a VA to the input, VB to this input. And uh, yeah, let's move everything here a little bit up, upward. Wait. Sorry for that. I wanna move these things up. Yeah, let's move it here. Move VDD to the top move these two guys closer and we need a, to give a V out to here, right? So we have all the signals being delivered to the gate and we have power. Let's give five volts the power and we need a simulation code. So the first thing you need to include the mode model file and control enter and you want to give a simulation file right now we are not doing a dc sweep we are doing a time domain analysis so it's going to be dot tran transient analysis so dot tran uh, from uh, zero zero second to since the period is 20 21 microsecond so let's give 10 periods for example so it's going to be 210 microsecond and every every point every point one second point one let's do that one microsecond you plot one point in the monitor okay and click OK and now let's do a simulation see if this will this will work right so you can close this one doesn't matter yeah just do it again simulate and then you can see va you can see vb is being shifted and you can see vl okay so now let's right click here the empty area any empty area you want to click right click and add plot panel or add plot pane here and now you can left click single click and hold it and drag it to the to the top like this and then you can double click to zoom in. You can see all the signal 
over here uh, because the T on is actually, you know, the voltage high is overlapping with the 5 volts. So let's change so you can right click the y axis and to change the scale here. You can change it to um, 6 volts. That, yeah, let's keep the same as here, right? 5.5 volts. And uh, here is minus 0 0.5. Okay. Same here, right click. 5.5, 0 0.5, but minus, press enter. So now it's super clear, okay? And you can, let's find out if the logic is right. So remember that for the, for the NAND logic, right? Yeah, let's, uh, let's use uh, something else to do it. For the NAND logic, you have A, B, and Y equals to not A and B. Okay, so that's the logic. And now let's see what are in the in the table. So if A is zero, B is zero, you are getting what for y one right if a is zero b is one you are getting one as well if a is zero if a is one b is zero you are getting one as well so only one both of them are ones you are getting a zero right and now let's see if this is valid here in in the in the simulation Okay, so uh, if there's one zero in either A or B, you're getting a one for the output. Uh, so the output will become zero only when both of them are ones, right? Now let's see. This one, so here you got a one here, you got zero, so this one becomes one. Uh, only one this part, Right, you can left click and show the cursor. Only when this part, A and both A and B are ones, you are getting a zero for the output. So it's a it's a valid uh, logic for uh, whatever we uh, expect for the NAND gate, right? So here uh, A becomes zero, so that's why everything becomes one. Same thing here, you have zeros in the input, you got one. So only when here during this period you have both of the inputs are ones. You're getting a zero. Okay, you can verify so on so forth. So they are just cycles, right? So uh, we just verified this, and uh, definitely that works. You can just try the same way, uh, but keep in mind all the steps. You make an internal circuit first, and then create a symbol out of it, and then a new schematic to do a simulation. That's a standard way to simulate uh, logic for the restless master. Okay, um, so you can. You know, try use the same way to simulate the NOR gate and any other gates being assigned in the homework package. And um, hopefully, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, this is the first time you guys are, you know, making symbols and doing a complicated uh, simulation in LT Spice. Um, but you will be used to that in the future uh, really quickly. So, uh, thank you for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video.